Now in landscape photography, day or night, one of your most important decisions is where do you place your tripod, especially in relationship to your subject foreground or your scene. In fact, exploring the effects of different camera locations on your images is one of the most powerful ways you can use Planet for Photographers. Hi everyone, this is Mike Shaw with Planet for Photographers, and in this video you're going to learn how to place and adjust your camera and scene location pins, explore a few different helpful viewing shortcuts, and have a first introduction to saving your work as a plan. So let's get started. So here we're going to use the One World Trade Center building as our scene or subject, and we're going to view it from across the Hudson River at the end of the waterfront walkway in New Jersey. First, we're going to set our camera location pin on the walkway. Then we're going to set our scene location pin on the One World Trade Center building. So to begin with, to select the camera location, the first thing we do is we zoom in using either the slider or simply pinching and expanding. And what we're going to do is we're going to switch to a satellite map mode because that really gives us um, an easier way to view the exact detail of the uh, area. Uh, and we're going to do that using this option up here. So you have a, a few different map options to choose from. Now, notice this little circle right at the center of the screen. This is where the camera location will be set and the scene location when we get to that. So when we're ready, we've got the little circle right where we want it to be. We tap the plus button, then the set camera location option, and we're done. Notice that the precise camera location is the small solid blue circle at the top of this pin. Now to make an adjustment, you can simply long press on the camera icon to release the pin, and then while holding down, you can reposition it and then release it to, into the new position. If you want to delete it altogether, you simply tap on it once, and then the delete or the trash can icon down here. Now if the camera location pin is outside the screen, uh, like this, all you have to do is go back to the set camera location option and long press it, and that will clear the camera location as well. So let's go ahead and add the camera location back here at the end of the walkway and move on to the scene. So let's talk about that. And again, we're going to use the One World Trade Center building in this example. Now, one incredibly useful feature is this built-in search option. You can simply type in the name, One World Trade Center, just like here, search, select it, and bam, we've got it. And since we have here a building, what we're going to do is we're going to switch back to the normal map mode so that we can see the outline of the building and use that to help find the exact center of it. When we're ready, we tap the plus button again, and then we tap the set scene location, and we're done. We can again adjust the scene location pin by long pressing on it to release it, moving it around to its new position, and then releasing it when we're, when we're done. And we can delete it again by tapping on it once and then the trash can icon below, or by long pressing on it and, the, and then the select scene location option like this. All right, so now here's a handy tip that I use all the time. Once we've set our camera location and our scene location pins, all we need to do is tap the slider over here once and that auto scales the screen so both fit in nicely. Now, you also have a few different options for zooming. The first is you can always pinch and zoom like, like normal. Uh, you can also, also use the slider over here. But one of the issues with this is this zooms relative to the center of the map location wherever you have it. Sometimes you don't want to do that. So what you can do is you can also long press anywhere on the map and that'll set a temporary marker. And then when you zoom with a slider, let's say, this marker is at the center of the zooming. And the other thing you can do is you can also tap on the camera or the scene icon as well once and adjust the slider to zoom in and out of the camera location or the scene location at the center of the zooming. But by far the easiest thing to do is this. What you do is you simply tap down once on either the camera or the scene marker and then quickly without releasing drag up or down to zoom in or out. If you hold down too long you're going to actually release the pin and move it around the map. We don't want to do that. We just want to zoom in or out. And this is especially helpful in the satellite view like this, where you can then make very fine scale adjustments depending on what you see. And now, finally, once you've found your perfect camera location for your scene, you can save this information as what we call a plan. To do so, you simply tap the plus button again, and now you have a look, let's have a look at this new file icon. Tapping on that opens the create new plan pop-up. And we'll go through plans in a little bit more detail later on. In this demo example, we're just like, no, we don't really want to save this. Once you do this, you have several options here. We're just going to release the camera scene pin so that we can start over again. We don't need to center the map. We go ahead and reset the time and reset the ephemeris configurations. But we don't want to delete the markers, as you'll see a little bit later. So we click OK, done, and we're ready to move on to, the next, uh, to our next set of planning. 
So there it is. Now this is how you select and adjust the camera and scene location pins, a few different viewing options and a first introduction to plans. Once again, this is Mike Shaw with Planner for Photographers. Until next time, good luck with your planning.